Hello everybody and welcome back to the Poured Out series. This is episode two. Episode two is going to be amazing for two reasons. First reason, the amazingly bold, beautiful, and vibrant colors I'm using today. Yeah, those colors are stunning. The second reason is because of the tool that I'm going to be pointing out of today. Yes. This one was a, was a challenge, but I pushed through and we got it done. So sit back and relax and let's have some fun. Okay, give me one second. Here it is. The shovel colander. That is what I'm calling it. This is the tool we're using today for this episode of Poured Out. Yeah, I found it in a dollar store and I was just like, this is gonna be amazing on this canvas. This canvas is a 16 by 20. No, 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 I'm wrong. I believe it's 18 by 24. Okay, I checked and yes, this is an 18 by 24 canvas. So this is gonna be fun, this is gonna be crazy, it's gonna be amazing, but I can't wait to try out my colander shovel, shovel colander, whatever they call this thing, and see how these colors come out. So today's colors are brought to you by Primal Flow. We have Blushing Pearl, which is a very, very beautiful color. All of these colors are beautiful and they all are metallic except for this beautiful pumpkin. It is the only one that doesn't have any shimmer or shine to it. Next up is going to be Pineapple Pearl. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> Next up we have Pistachio Pearl. Gotta love that green color. That's gorgeous. Next in this array of rainbow is Fiji Pearl. I have to get that one in a lowly Beffy bottle. I'm getting there. And last but not least is Regal Pearl. So let me set up everything and let's get the fun started. Okay, so I went ahead and got the base paint down. I'm thinking about starting from this corner, filling up the shovel with the colors and just trying to do a ribbon of it. So let's see how this turns out. Wish me luck. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna start pulling this and seeing what comes out of it. My fingers are crossed. I hope yours are too. And I said a tiny prayer. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, uh, I had to take a pause because I did not have enough um, white on the canvas to be able to pour this and so that it would be able to move. And as you can see, my paint is thick. And I started the heck out of that paint and I mixed it up, but it thickened back up on me. So I'm praying that this turns out, that this just turns out, okay? Yeah, so I put a canvas on it. I was like, why not do two in one? make two paintings out of one. See how that works? So that is why there's another canvas underneath there. Surprise! So I'm gonna speed up this process so we can get through it and get to the next part. I'll be back. So 
sweet baby Jesus that just happened. <laughs> oh, that was epic. That That's epic. Gotta love that. Gotta love it. Okay, so after that um, epic fall, I'm looking at it and yeah, I'm not liking how this is turning out. So I am going to take a pause so I can go scrape all of this off onto the canvas, the second canvas. And I'm gonna start this project again. So I'll be back. Welcome back to part two of episode two of Pour It Out. As you can see, I got the other canvas. Um, pour it all over, I got it together. So for this second go around, I'm gonna start it off in the middle. So hopefully the colors will be able to spread out and you know, just give a better composition than the last one was giving me. So I'm gonna speed it up so we can get through this process. Oh my goodness, I am loving how this has turned out. I do need to work on the bottom, so I'm gonna bring in the colors again and just lay them down in a single row. Um, that way I can finish out the full bottom and just make it a full, complete piece. So y'all know the drill. We're gonna speed this part up and then we'll be back. Y'all, I love it. I love it. This is insane. The colors, the way that they look like they're being smeared across the canvas and mingling together and combining. Oh my gosh. I am going to call this exploding galaxy because this is what it looks like. This is in my mind. If we're up in space, if a galaxy was to explode, it would just be an abundance of beautiful colors just going all across outer space. And then the little, tiny little uh, cells that are being created looks like little tiny stars. Of course, with me torching, it's gonna create more cells of so more stars. I may even put some uh, white, paint on here as far as like splattering it on here with a toothbrush to give some more depth to the stars. So let me know in the comments what you think. I really want to know what you guys think of this one. Yeah, this has been a amazingly awesome and challenging uh, pour for me <laughs> in the poured out series. Episode two has has presented itself with some challenges, but I was up for it and I'm so glad that I did not give up. So I gotta keep torsion, keep getting bubbles out and creating those little cells. So I'm gonna speed this up so we can get on with it. I love it. The torsion gave so many more cells given that illusion of stars. I'm done. This was a challenge, but I accept this challenge and man, this turned out insane. Yes, Exploding Galaxy is definitely what I'm calling it, but hey, y'all let me know down in the comments if you think that's a fitting name, okay? Make sure you let me know. 
Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to turn on your notifications bell, especially if you're new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys, and I love you. See you next time.